Sure, you want to do this? Yep. Yep. All right. Well, after I finish my pizza, me and old Jimmy are uh, going to be hopping over a little little creek thing to hopefully ice fish one last time. Maybe another time. We got cold weather coming up, so who knows? But yeah, for once, it's not Casey's pizza. Valentino's pizza, much better. Does everybody have Valentino's pizza or is that just a Midwest thing? I'm not sure, but it's delicious. Um, but yeah, in the last video I said our ice was uh, borderline completely screwed and I wasn't lying and now it's even worse, but got a buddy, got spikes, got pizza and uh, hopefully we can get out on the ice. He was out there this morning and yesterday and it should be about six to seven inches. We, uh, I, haven't caught, I haven't kept a fish all year ice fishing. So we're gonna try to catch some walleyes, maybe keep one or two and bring them home to uh, do a catch and cook. You guys ask for them a lot and I never do them because they're honestly a lot of work and I don't know, I just like releasing fish. I'm not much of a fish eater. So yeah, we're gonna take the necessary precautions to try to get out there and see if we can't catch some dinner. Even though I'm already eating dinner. So yeah, come along with us. See if we can get out there, catch anything at all or catch something big. Stuff and things for pizza. <laughs> he might. <laughs> She's on. Step one completed, now we just have to catch some shit. <clears throat> righty. We are clearly pretty limited on where we can fish. Um, don't have very many options, so we're just gonna kind of bounce around on the edge of these trees and hopefully we can get something big. Should have brought a panfish rod, but I told myself earlier this year that I wasn't just gonna make a average run of the mill dirt bag tiny panty fish video and call it something worth making so yeah left the panfish rod at home kind of regretting it now because i've been seeing some bluegills that are pretty big and i probably should have just not been stubborn and just yeah brought it but for now not going to get super fancy on uh, extra cameras and all that jazz because i'm not really sure what we're going to catch if anything I mean, most trips you don't know exactly what you're gonna catch, but this one I really don't, so. I got three tip-ups out. I got a big chub, small chub, and a goldfish, all dead. Not allowed to use live bait here unless it's caught from here, and yeah, we haven't caught anything, so. No live bait yet, but we might as well go for a pike while we're waiting for walleyes or bass. Walleyes are the main goal, but in this shallow water here, we got a, we got a chance at, at a really big bass too, so. For now, GoPro record on Panoptics and make sure we don't fall in. In the meantime of doing that, potentially maybe try to get a bite and then potentially maybe try to catch something big. So, yeah. I say that Jimmy also has tip ups out. Did I even say we were fishing for pike? We're attempting to catch pike as well. So, we got some really big baits out. We got some small baits out and we got some medium baits out. So, yeah. Just happy to be out, to be honest. Just happy to be out. Have medium ish hopes, but, uh, yeah, who knows? Could get lucky. Better to be lucky than good. And stuff. Goldfish, bud. I think, anyway. Actually, I think this was the tiny chub. There he goes. <laughs> Dipping. Uh, no, this one's the little chub. Still. Still something, though. Um, I don't know. I should be good. I don't think he's too big. I think he's just a little tight. Still cool. Yeah. Flag new random spot when we're stuck over here. 
Yeah. We haven't been here too long, man. <clears throat> yeah, I was so hopeful that I didn't put my pliers in my pocket yet. Well, not a giant, but I mean a reasonably decent fish for the circumstances. And it was on the iFish Pro, which makes it just all the sweeter. He just, he didn't do much at first, man, and then he just started, he started ripping. Did you hear it go up? Yep. Nice. Yep. I heard it pop, look back, and he wasn't pulling line out, but once I finally got the damn thing unfroze from the ice, he just started ripping line. Yep. <laughs> well, at least we got a fish walking out of here. Yeah. We did it. Oh yeah. Nice man. All Good worth fish. it. Ah. That was my last tiny chub, so I guess this one will have to be a goldfish. Yeah, and we could always get tiny crappie or whatever. Alright, I'm still trying to find my forever home as far as jigging goes. But uh yeah, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. These hooks are jacked. And they're gonna have to do because I do not have another one with me. This fish looking at my spoon, but they don't look very big. They're not eating, so it doesn't matter. All right, I got to, uh, first of all, get my pliers in my pocket. Second of all, got to fix these hooks. Third of all, I'm going to put my uh, last bait I brought down. Man, that thing is messed up. But yeah, I have one more uh, giant goldfish. Giant is relative. Seven, eight incher. We're gonna put him down on the iFish Pro and see if we can get bit. Goldfish. I'm gonna, since it's so shallow, I'm gonna wait a second. And he's close to the trees though, so I don't wanna wait too long. That might be the one I just had by me a little bit ago. Got him. <clears throat> yep. I've seen worse. I have seen worse, and the goldfish do work. <laughs> he looked bigger under the ice. Yeah, he did. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, They're holding on to it. Yep. Yep. Well, it's a weird looking walleye, but. It's better than a crappie. I like it when they grab it and hold on to it. Yep. Yeah. Better than sitting at home. Yep. Yes. When I pulled my tip up up, dude, he just started f***ing <laughs> dumping. <laughs> hey, he, he about set the hook for me. Yeah. Well, I need a crappie now. Yeah. Did you use it? <laughs> I, I'm out of the goldfish, out of the chubs. If you, uh, I keep seeing fish over here. If you want to move one of your flags right here, I wouldn't be offended. I keep having crappie swim up to me and they keep rejecting me, so I'm not sure if we're going to get more bait or not. I'll retire this one for now until we do, though, but if you want to take this hole, I've definitely seen some around. All right, well, catch and release on pike here, so. Once again, still not keeping any fish to eat so far, but... I mean, one or two walleyes would be pretty neato in my book, so keep trying. Can't say I've seen a walleye on Panoptics, but I have seen some pike. And we've caught some pike, so. Yeah. We'll keep trying. We're out, though. We are out and we are safe ish. And that's more than most people can say. Got the whole lake to ourselves. We're catching some fish occasionally. And yeah, keep trying. All right, well, let's sit up and, you know, work thing. Oh, oh. I'll set up and watch that crappie then. Because why not? There's also more crappies over here, so. Yeah, we got a shot. <clears throat> it's actually pretty nice out right now, too. Which doesn't hurt the cause. 
doesn't hurt the cause. Not the warmest, but the wind died down, so it is comfortable. Yikers. I think there's another pike looking at my crappie already. Yep, he just he just attacked it. Somehow my flag hasn't gone up yet, but he just attacked it. It's in his mouth and the flag isn't even up. He's chewing on it. He's got it in his mouth right now. That didn't take long. Uh I mean he he looks big in this shallow water, but I'm not sure if he is. There he goes. Hopefully the recording on Panoptics is working properly. I think I lost him. No, I got him. Oh, he just had the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, he was small. He just had it by like the belly. Nope, still got my bait and he's still wiggling. I should have waited a little bit, but whenever they like bump it and leave like that last one, you like, you want to get on them a little quicker. It's pretty cool watching it though, man. He just like slammed it and like came up with it. So it didn't go off and he just sat there with it for like 30 seconds. All right. Crop you set back up. <clears throat> Gonna go back to digging. That's pretty neat though. Watching me to tip up is uh, almost better than catching them. And in that case, since I saw the fish and it wasn't very big, it actually was better than catching one. I mean, seeing it and then catching it would have been better, but you know, you know. About 30 minutes, 45 minutes till dark. It's getting later and later. Spring's coming. And, um,. Yeah, at this rate it can't come soon enough. It's going to be real, real tough to catch anything coming up with unsafe ice and not a lot of open water. So you might be actually seeing this video, even though it's been, it's probably going to end up below my standards as far as the rest of the season goes. But yeah, beggars can't be choosers. And at this point, I'm definitely a beggar. And right now I'm begging for one or two more decent fish before it gets dark and cold. Hopefully we can make it happen. Please, baby. Jeebus. And stuff. Got one coming towards my tip up again. I don't know if he's gonna get close enough, but it looks big. He ate my spoon. Yes. And my drag's not working. <laughs> and my drag's not working because it's frozen. Oh man. I don't think he's tiny. Yeah, I do. And I was recording on pan optics and my drag is still <laughs> Um, so far it hasn't been a problem. It's the biggest one of the day and he swallowed it. And this is eight pound test. Yeah, you can take it out. I want this guy to end ice season. There's so many sticks around. And he swallowed it. We're gonna have to be careful, but if we can get him, I'll be excited. He's not that oh. I've been watching him for 15 minutes, man. Nice. He kept going that way Very and nice. this way. And then I thought he was going to come over to that one, but he just, yeah, he Might came. Cool, huh? Yeah, he, I'm surprised he didn't break that eight pound test. Oh, luckily it was kind of right in, right in the edge there. Give that a little dip ski. All right, I've been trying to catch a 40 all year, and this isn't a 40, but I am going to actually measure a fish. I'm growing up, even though he's not necessarily worth measuring, but 30-incher, and you guys brought it up a lot in the last video. 
this one is tagged as well but i don't really talk about them being tagged because it's like half of them are tagged so it's not like you get any money or anything but look at his belly he got one of them crappies he was chasing around and i was watching him forever and he finally got it and he might not be the biggest but that's one of the coolest pattern ones yep. the yeah and on his back and everything get old tag bud back i don't think panoptics is recording but i don't really care thank you jimmy yep. appreciate everything it's been fun while it lasted maybe we'll do it again but yeah try for a little bit longer my hands haven't completely fallen off and we haven't fallen in the water yet and we still got baits down so neato and stuff getting close to my crappie he might eat it see him mm -hmm. keep coming bud keep coming keep coming come on helm come on helm he's just sitting on the other side of that little bush he's gonna eat it i think He's nosing up to it. You want to do the honors if he eats it? Nope. Yours. Oh, f Jimmy. Nope. There's another one right below me in the tree. There's two. There's one right below me and there's one on my crappie. <laughs> I'm not even in that camera. But... Yeah, I don't know, man. This corner. He's he's nosing right up to it. Well, the channel's right there. About yep. 10 yards. Two of them on it right now. One below and one on the side. They'll start fighting over it. Someone's gonna eat it. Competition. If neither of them eat it, I'd be shocked. Is your big camera still Yeah, it is. I'm not. <laughs> I know. I should point it at something besides nothing. Yeah. They're right on it. I better check this crappie quick because there's something about it they didn't like. Looks decent enough for a pike to me. Oh, I literally dropped it right in his face. Did you? Yes. He's looking right at it. <laughs> Hopefully. Yep, he ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Or he missed it. I don't know what happened, but something happened. I think he ate it. Yeah, he ate it. <clears throat> Got him. Feels decent. Oh, he might have came off or he switched directions. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> no. I just can't hook him on the crappies, man. Shit. That one looked bigger. Man, you're not kidding though. This is like the best two hours we've had after like how many hours? I can't believe I just dropped it in his face. He had it too, I should have waited. He like just switched directions and I wasn't, wasn't quick enough. That one felt like just better. Not sure if it was, but it sure felt better. All right, well, we're gonna keep trying for at least a little bit longer. Cause why not? Yeah, if this fish doesn't eat, we can leave. <laughs> Cause they're just acting different, man. Yeah, they probably shut down. I think he's just looking at it now just for fun. Add a couple minnows and glow it again. And if not, F it. Yeah, time for it. He broke me off. Did he? Yeah. He broke me off. Oh, you didn't see him, huh? Yeah. He bit or did he? No, he bit it. Did he? Yeah, I uh, I added a minnow and re redid the glowing and 
He went right after it. He just hit it right away. Did he snap you or did he get you wrapped up? No, he instantly snapped me. I must yeah. have hit a tooth or something. <laughs> well, <laughs> he was there forever. If it is the end of your ice season, it wasn't bad. No, that was, I mean, that's the least amount of time it took me to catch five pike, I think, uh, all year. And by I think, I mean it definitely was. All right, I'm finally picking my tip ups up and then <laughs> get the hell out. At least he bit. He did bite. He stole my lucky spoon. I've been using it all season. <laughs> what a better way to end it. <laughs> that dickhead. Dickhead bite.